North Korea successfully flight tested the Hwasong-14 for the first time on July 4, 2017. The missile was launched from Pyongyang Airport and landed in the Sea of Japan inside Japan's exclusive economic zone, setting alarm bells ringing around the world. The Minuteman family of missiles has served as the backbone of the U.S. land-based nuclear strategic force since 1962. The Minuteman III began development in 1964 and entered service in 1970. In this video, Defense Updates compares the North Korean Hwasong-14 with the United States Minuteman III on five important parameters and draws an unbiased conclusion. Let's get started. Number 5 Like the Hwasong-12, the Hwasong-14 is transported on a Transporter Erector Vehicle TEL, but launched from a detachable platform on a concrete pad. This has several operational ramifications. It will increase the time required to launch the Hwasong-14 and limit the number of launch locations to pre-sighted and pre-constructed launch pads. Minuteman 3 is designed to be launched from missile silos. A missile silo is a vertical cylindrical structure constructed underground for the storage and launching of intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. These structures typically have the missile some distance below ground protected by a large blast door on top. They are usually connected physically and or electronically to a missile launch control center. Both the missiles are dependent on pre-assigned sites for launch and hence are vulnerable against preemptive strikes. In current situation, the Minuteman 3 has advantage since the missile silos are very well built and should be able to protect the missiles from attack to a decent extent. Since Hwasong-14 launch platform are not concealed, even a modest strike could disable its launch. Number 4 Hwasong-14 is newly developed and still an experimental one. Debate continues over if Hwasong-14 re-entry vehicle, which will carry the warhead, is capable of surviving the stresses associated with ICBM flight and re-entry. The missile still needs further design optimizations and testing before it is deployed. Minuteman 3 missiles are regularly tested with launches from Vanderburg Air Force Base in order to validate the effectiveness, readiness and accuracy of the weapon system, as well as to support the system's primary purpose, nuclear deterrence. It has nearly 100% reliability. Minuteman 3 missiles have also been improved over the decades with more than $7 billion spent in the last decade to upgrade the 450 missiles. For example, the original inertial navigation system provided it with an accuracy of about 200 meters circular error probable CEP, but an updated inertial guidance system gives it 120 meter CEP. Minuteman 3 is a more complete and far better tested system giving it a major advantage in this category. Number 3 The Hwasong-14 is a two-stage liquid-fueled version of the single-stage Hwasong-12 Intermediate Range Ballistic Missile IRBM, which North Korea first tested in May of 2017 to a range of about 4,500 kilometers. The missile's first-stage engine appears similar if not identical to the Hwasong-12. The second stage is designed to increase its range. Minuteman 3 is a three-stage solid-fuel rocket engine. The first stage is Theocol TU-122. Second stage is Aerojet General SR-19 AJ-1. And the third stage is an Aerojet Theocol SR-73 AJ-TC-1. Solid-fuel missile can stand ready for extended periods of time with little maintenance and then launch on command. In comparison, Missile designs using liquid rocket propellant require a lengthy fueling process immediately before launch, which leaves them open to the possibility of surprise attack. Minuteman 3 has an upper hand due to the better readiness of the system. Number 2 A multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV, is a ballistic missile payload containing several warheads each capable of being aimed to hit a different target. MIRV allows separately targeted nuclear warheads to be sent on their independent ways after the main propulsion stages of the missile launch have shut down. This technology is very complex and greatly increases the destructive power of a missile. 
Hwasung-14 is not enabled with MIRV, and hence one missile can deliver only one nuke. Minuteman-3 is the first true MIRV-capable missile. It can carry a maximum of three warheads. Clearly, Minuteman-3 has a distinct advantage in this category. Number 1 The most important parameter of a missile is the range. On July 4th, the Hwasong-14 flew on a lofted trajectory to a range of around 930 kilometers at an altitude of 2,803 kilometers. Based on this performance, it was initially estimated that the Hwasong-14 could potentially reach up to 8,000 kilometers if fired in an easterly direction. It has been reported that the U.S. government has assessed that the missile's range to be between 7,000 and 9,500 kilometers. Hwasong 14's performance during its July 28th test, however, well exceeded that, flying for around 47 minutes to a range of 1,000 kilometers and an altitude of 3,700 kilometers. According to one report, the missile's increased flight time, range, and altitude is due to differing burn times of the missile's two stages and structural modifications. In the July 4th test, the Hwasong 14 first stage burned for 145 seconds and second stage for 233 seconds. On July 28th, by contrast, the missile's first stage burned for 151 plus 6 seconds and second stage for 224 minus 9 seconds. The latter Hwasong-14 was also structurally different from that of the previous launch, with yaw maneuvering motors added to the missile's second stage. Based on its July 28th performance, the Hwasong-14 is expected to have a range of over 10,000 kilometers if flown on a range-maximizing ballistic trajectory. Minuteman series of missile gained range with incremental version with Minuteman 3 acknowledged to have an operational range of 13,000 kilometers, that's 8,100 miles, though the exact range is classified. As per many analysts, the missile actually can travel as far as 16,000 kilometers depending upon the warhead configuration. Keeping in view the better range, Minuteman 3 has an advantage in this category. As evident from the overall score, Minuteman 3 is a more capable missile compared to Hwasong-14. Hwasong-14 has demonstrated the increasing capabilities of North Korea in the field of long-range missiles and the pace of development has caught the world by surprise. With Hwasong-14, North Korea has cleared a major threshold and has become one of only a few countries to possess an ICBM. Minuteman 3 is the only land-based ICBM in service in the United States and has been kept relevant even decades after its initial deployment with technology upgrades. Minuteman 3 will remain one of the most powerful deterrents for any adversary. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.